Cameron Gamble has got it teed up. 71 degrees, beautiful night. The 82nd renewal of the Tigers and the Tide. Trayvon Diggs and Henry Ruggs back deep for Alabama. If this doesn't get your blood flowing, nothing will. Kicks returnable from the nine-yard line by Ruggs. Across the 25, out to about the 26-yard line, and that's where Alabama will go to work. Alabama goes with tempo right off the bat, second and five. Hurts running out of time, and down he goes back at the 20-yard line. Devin White and Christian Lockature in on the sack. Well, LSU plays man-to-man -man and challenges you to find the right guy. They won't be wide open against man-to-man -man coverage. Tigers look like they're going to bring a blitz. They will. It's Thompson coming from the outside. Hurts down the middle. Got his man. It's going to be short of the first down as he got it to Foster. But he's about a yard shy as J.K. Scott will kick it away. But J.K. Scott has not had a punt return of one of his punts this season. And he won't have one here either. Chark Wu almost lost it as he stumbles backward around the 10-yard line. LSU with a third and nine at 36 percent on the third down conversions. Russell Gage, the motion man. Etling, here comes the heat. He got rid of it. Jump ball, and it's complete. Wow, what a throw. Stefan Sullivan. Second and seven. Again, Gage. In motion, play fake, Etling wants a home run. Long ball, man out there, and incomplete. Some incidental contact, but no flag. And Minka Fitzpatrick, oh brother, he goes down with Etling. Here comes the pressure from Alabama. Etling pump fakes once and uh, throws it away. Uh, uh, did that get across the line of scrimmage? No, it didn't. I don't know if it did get across the line of scrimmage. Yeah, and Calvin Ridley in this offense will line up all over the field, this time near slot as a end. Ooh. Oh, ball is hit by Key immediately. Almost took the handoff from Hertz. Doesn't even want to come off the practice Correct. field. Third and 11 for Hertz. Throws on the run and throws a strike to Calvin Ridley, the aforementioned wide receiver, his favorite target. Well, they've had some crazy games over the years, and that's just another. Do they have different rules in that conference? You might, by defense, you mean? I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> Here's Hurts. Pressure coming. Can he get away from it? He got away from one man, and now he's heading to the sideline, and he's going to get a first down. And that's what Jalen Hurts can do so well. well. I'll tell you, John Battle would like that one over again. John Battle was jumping up and down on the field so mad at himself after that miss. Hurts, plenty of time. Going to air it long. Man there, got him! Complete to Henry Ruggs. And for Henry, that's his first catch this year that hasn't been a touchdown. Yeah, we mentioned it too. You know what's incredible is he was standing on that sideline with all those other recruits a year ago for this game. And now Scalbro goes for 10 more. Toss fake to Scarbro. Hurts on the throw to the end zone. Touchdown, Irv Smith. Quick snap to Etling. Quick slant to Chark. Yeah. First How about down. that? Right at Mika Fitzpatrick. Matchup against Fitzpatrick. Tattoo tackles to the left, the tight end short right. And the give is to Gage. On the jet sweep and the hurdle. Russell Gage, and it's going to be about two yards shy of the first down. He went over Minka Fitzpatrick, yeah, and, and he's, he's down, down again. Him. Yep, he is. Various guys in motion. They're going to give it to him. Coming back to the near side, he's got a first down. Alabama brings the blitz. Etling fires. Oh, nice back shoulder throw. Very Incomplete. Nice. He's chomping at the bit to get back in the next time the defense is out there, but right now the offense has it at the nine-yard line. Damian Harris broke one tackle. Going to take Corey Thompson for a ride for about eight yards. This is a little different for this Alabama attack a year ago. Jonah Williams, a 300-pounder with quick feet on that last block. And here's Harris just picking his way up to the 20-yard line for a first down. You know, Brad, I was talking about the field position. Third and ten. 
Tigers bring an extra rusher, and it's going to pay off, and it's Corey Thompson, the guy we talked about that Brian Dable was concerned about. We'll talk in two-on-one. Alabama. Oh, and there's uh, Dr. Evans coming in there to make sure <laughs> everybody knows what's going on. So LSU will work from the 39. Etling in the shotgun. A quick throw to the outside. Who's going to get it? It's Harrison. Yep. Ronnie Harrison with the interception. Boy, it's a matchup you got to love. You know what I say as we watch this? One third down call. Oh man, and he a first that down one. throw to Calvin Ridley. Yeah. First and goal. At the nine yard line. And heading to the end zone is Bo Scarborough. Touchdown. Third down at four. They empty the backfield. Etling throws complete. And it's first down, Stefan Sullivan. Bring five. Etling rolls to throw. Fires a dart wow, complete wow. to chart. Beautiful. Etling fires on the sideline. Chart made the catch. Wow. Alabama's red zone defense, best in the conference, as they are in most defensive categories. Third and goal at the four. Etling looks right, wants to come back to the left. Throws broken up at the goal line. Connor Culp has hit seven straight field goals. This will be a 21-yard attempt. And he makes it eight straight just inside the left upright. Yeah. Hurts in trouble, gets away from the pressure. Throws going left and it's incomplete. J.K. Scott's done a marvelous job of keeping Chark out of the return game. Hits wow, it way up in the air almost again. Almost not fair. Chark's going to field this one though at the 20. And he got by the first way. D.J. Chark's done this twice this year. Yeah. Got a flag though. Defensive back that Third gets return. the push from behind. Block in the back. Very, very clear. Receiving team. Here's a jet sweep again to Derek Dillon. Alabama waiting on that one. Down he goes for a loss. And it's Hootie Jones. Chark comes out to the left. Derek Dillon the other way. And it's Darrell Williams. And Williams got free. We mentioned he had a big game a couple of weeks ago. And he's got a first down run. Third down and five. Here they come. Down he goes. Never had a chance. Hurts gives it off. No, he keeps it. And Jalen Hurts into the secondary. Great fake to Bo Scarborough. He got me anyway, and he got some of the LSU defenders. 23-49. Can they make a play? 49 trying to sneak through there. He at least flushed Hurts back up into the middle. And Jalen Hurts heading to the sideline, but he's tagged out of bounds by Corey Thompson. How about that? Man, does he get the ball in the yes, air? Yes, he huh? does. Well, he's like six foot six, you know, with that yeah. arc that he's got to punt. Nick plays it safe, no timeout. They give it off to Sullivan. Sullivan got the first down. Etling will be under center. Gives it off. Well, Geist got another first down, but that ends the first half. Levi Wallace made the final stop of the second quarter. Well, I thought they needed two stars. Arden Key came through for LSU, yep. and I think Danny Etling might have played his best half of football as an LSU football player. That we've seen him for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Brings Gage across the field one way and back the other, and then gives it off to Darius Geist straight up the middle. And he got close to the first down, and now he's going to be run backwards by Rashawn Evans and Harrison. Geis, first down, and a few more. Blitz coming off the corner, time perfectly. Etling got a little rattled, and down he goes. 
Yeah, you're right. It was Tony Brown coming off the slot who timed it as Brad told you. Bryce Love carries the ball 60% of the time for Stanford. Barkley 50%. Damian Harris only 22%. Hurts. Deep straight down the sideline, overshot Henches is tight end. And, that, and that's tough. When you throw the deep ball, the offensive linemen are allowed to come from behind and push on the play after it gets stopped. Gets stopped, then watch from behind on the play. It was was it Sean Deion Hamilton? It's that's down on the play. It is. But Moreau comes in and a couple other guys, and that's that same knee. That laying out in the flat to Williams, trying to make a couple guys miss and can't. Alabama swarms defensively. Keith Holcomb, who just came in for Sean Deion Hamilton. Bo Scarborough behind Hurts. They fake it to him. Jalen's in trouble, and down he goes, and it's Key and White, the two guys we talked about. That's it. They look behind J.K. Scott. This punt. Not, not as, as towering, it but it's going to bounce. Be good. Yeah, it might end up be perfect. <laughs> no matter what he does, it turns out pretty good. <laughs> All the way to the 10. Eric Dillon, the motion man. It gives to Darius Geis, and he's dropped for a loss. Quinnen Williams. Alabama got away with a helmet off early, though. Jalen Hurts. No, it's, it's Hurts with a run all the way to the 41. <laughs> Second down and eight. Pressure from behind. He got rid of the pass, and it's right on to Calvin Ridley, who got a block. Ridley inside the 10. He wanted to score so bad. Holding. 71 offense. 10 yard penalty. Second down. From the 49, second and 18. Blitz coming off the corner. Hurt straight down the middle. Throws a strike to Foster. So they get some of it back. Now, do you sit on a couple of plays? Squat on a throw? Hurt's got away momentarily. Throws on the run, and he tucked one in there somehow oh, to Foster. Hurts taking his time with Harris with him in the backfield. Same Thanks play. Down Same the middle. Play. Calvin Ridley. He's got a first and goal left this time. I guess Brian Dable saw what I drew up, right? <laughs> 21 yards to the three. And now it's Hurts. Touchdown, Alabama. Great drop, bootleg, throw out to Geis, looking for a block for Morrow, and he got a little bit of one. And look at that run after the catch. Throw some slants over the middle of the field and go after him defensively. Darrell Williams in the Wildcat straight up the middle. And the Tiger, Darrell Williams in the Wildcat might take it all the way to the one. That's Carter. In motion, they give it to Williams. He got him there, and he got him in. Touchdown, LSU. Hurts, again, Thompson pressuring from behind. He'll keep it, trying to head to the stick. Might have gotten a late block. First down at the 36. Scarborough on a cutback run up the middle, and Big Mo for 10. Third and four here. Wants to throw, does, fires a strike complete to Smith. His uh, tight end. And great protection that time. And Scarborough comes up to talk to the offensive line. Throw is incomplete. Coverage. Really good coverage by Tolliver. Andy Papanastas is 13 out of 16. This is a 41 yarder. He drills it, and I mean drills it, right down the middle. Tack three more on for Alabama. And then that way. And a play action. Beautiful. Etling throws it out. Williams again. He's become a big part here in the second half. And he gets about seven. There's the numbers on Etling, much better than a year ago. And that's Williams on the ground for the first down. Ronnie Harrison stood him up.
Play action. Etling wants a long ball. Lays it out there. He's got a man in Chark. And he dropped it. He misjudged it. The Georgia Bulldogs are heading to Mercedes-Benz Stadium for the SEC Championship. Will it be against Alabama? Minka Fitzpatrick out on the field. Third down at 14. Etling waiting, waiting, throwing late. And diving attempt by Russell Gage. Vanderbilt, Ole Miss, Texas A&M, Arkansas, and Tennessee are 6-21 and 21 in the SEC. LSU, Mississippi State, and Auburn, 20-6. And, and if you add in Georgia, 29-6. and six. This is a run all the way by Hertz and Key, and Frank Heron make the tackle for a loss. Etling looking left all the way, and then fires on the sideline, and he got it. Yes, he did. Complete. Over to Derek Dillon. Third down at seven. They've got to worry about the first down first here. But they've also got to worry about only having seven minutes left to go. Etling again. Pocket now starting to collapse. And he's going down. And it's Deron Payne bringing it. The pain that is. Arden Key in a stand-up spot right there on the right side of the line. Trying to tee off. But Scarborough goes the other way. And it's a nice play by Heron again. Scott, oh man, this one's even higher than the other seven. Back to around the nine-yard line. Remember, all year, he has not had one punt even returned. It's when you talk to both Matt Canada and Ed Orgeron, they said he's going to be a gifted player for us when the time comes. Short throw over the middle of Geist, trying to change directions. Does get the first down. I mean, Miles Brennan is more of a pure passer. There's no doubt about it. Trying to get Stefan Sullivan set up way down at the bottom of your screen. Brennan throws to Geis. A little crossing route. Darius fighting for another first down. Is about a yard shy. They're waiting for one big play, a sack, to turn it around. Geis gets the first down that they needed. Drake's out for about four more. Rashawn Evans finally brought him down. Brennan in trouble, going down. Like I said, he plays soft zone. You keep it in front of him. Hard to believe it's a two-touchdown two game, which means it's a game, and you change quarterbacks. This is maybe his last chance, and he's not going to get a chance. Down he goes, Dylan Moses. Alabama takes over. If they go into the SEC Championship undefeated, they might lose and get in. Damian Harris, no, it's Jalen Hurts keeping it. And Corey Thompson flagged down, and he runs him down. Come back, one of the best players foul. on the Grasp field. The face mask, 23 defense. Now he's half the distance to the goal line. Automatic first down. Ed Orgeron got his team to finish a good football game here. They were not embarrassed. Now they get Arkansas at home and then at Tennessee. They can still have a very successful season compared to where they were after that Troy game. No doubt about that. So Jalen Hurts going to keep that ball and head to the locker room. He's the guy that created enough offense tonight for Alabama to win their 23rd straight conference game. And their 32nd win in the last 33 here at Bryant-Denny Stadium. Well, the 82nd edition between these two teams was another hard-hitting battle, without a doubt. LSU didn't have quite enough offense. And the winning coach is with Allie LaForce. Coach, you said this was going to come down to how the team handled hard. How do you grade the way they responded to the challenges of this game? Well, hey, you got to give LSU a lot of credit, man. They played a great game. They had a good plan. Their players had played hard. They were physical. It was a tough game. But I'm proud of our players with the way they responded in the second half and did what we had to do to win the game. This is a great win for us.